Hi guys, so the coaching insight I've got here in front of me, I'm gonna take you through today's title, Command Chain. So in any business or sport, a form of organizational structure exists. Controlled decisions through communication offer a hierarchical method for organizing information flow, decision-making, power, and authority. A CEO, or president, or head coach, are usually at the top, every level below then has a subordinate to which it answers to those from above or is reported to from those below. Command and control are intrinsic in the chain. The further a person is up on the ladder, the more power, authority, responsibility and accountability they have. Relationships, delegation and authority are clear. There's clarity about who to approach for resources, assistance, and or feedback. Simplicity creates security and there has to be space for flexibility to allow for faster decisions to be made. Quick, accurate, and positive outcomes are the ultimate goal for everyone involved. Money for business, winning for sport. Technology can alter the hierarchy in some instances, as information is usually available all the time, which some, can sometimes cause decentralised decision making. Without this chain of command, things would become very complicated, confusing, disorganised, inefficient, internally competitive, frustrating and stressful. Think about the biggest companies and the best sports teams in the world. It's not an accident that they're all successful. Always trying to improve critical thinking, continuing to build strong relationships and respect what the person above them says. Next time that you're faced with such challenges, step back and assess the chain of command to see which links need attention or revise the whole structure completely. I'd be really interested to know your thoughts on this. Please drop a comment below or send me a DM.